All right, guys, we got another popular one for you guys today. It's Fotech. Fotech is one of the OGs of drum and bass. His style of music was characterized by super intelligent drum programming and his later material played on minimal aesthetics. One of his defining tracks is Nite Nituru, which is named after a classic Japanese sword fighting technique. This track is characterized by the use of traditional Japanese percussion known as taiko drums and also the use of cleverly layered breaks. It's all about creating polyrhythms here, which is the technique of combining contrasting rhythms to create new interesting patterns. By the way, my name is Stranger. If you want to improve your music production, especially of drum and bass and dance music, then this channel is for you. Comment down below and let me know what is your favorite Fotech track. All right, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so we're going to break down the drums first. So once again, this is more of a track inspired by Fotech. I wouldn't say it's a an exact replica of Nite Nichiru, but more of a an inspiration. And sorry to all the Japanese people there if I messed up the pronunciation. I studied Japanese many years ago, but I've forgotten most of it. We'll have a chance to learn it again one day, though. So one of the popular breaks used in those early drum and bass days were, was the soul pride break the soul pride comes in four parts and you'll just have to listen to see which one you want to use it's really up to you i say part two and three sounds good Probably part three is the more popular one. It's a more cleaner one. It doesn't have the rides on top, but if you want a version that has a little more energy, then part two would be nice because it has a ride symbol running through it. So this time I'm gonna slice this to MIDI. And I already have it sliced to a MIDI track here, and I'm currently at 173 beats per minute. So this pattern is four bars in length. And really, I'm just gonna use the first bar and, and then resequence it to my liking. So this is the first bar. So first thing is I'm gonna fix the timing. So because this is a human drummer, some of the timing is off. So I wanna fix all the eighth notes so it's right on beat. And then we'll fix the uh, shuffle on its own like that. Now the shuffle is pretty hard. So you may want to shift this one over a bit, right? We can hit legato to fix all the note links. That's great. Now let's extend the pattern to two bars. And then we're going to take this first section here. And then take this section, duplicate it. And if we want to take a bit further, we can duplicate one more time. This time, I'm gonna take this section here and move this guy here. And we can just move these shakers here. All right, next up we can pitch up the Soul Pride by seven semitones. That's sounding better. And then I have an EQ here where I raise the highs. I love making the highs nice and crisp. So around the 10,000 Hertz is nice. And then I use a low cut uh, below around 150 Hertz just to get rid of that rumble because we're gonna add a main kick and snare on top. Okay, that's sounding nice and tight. All right, and then the next step is we're gonna layer a kick and snare over the Soul Pride break. Now I was looking for a kick and snare that was close to Nite Nichiru. The closest I found was the break from Doc Scott's Swarm. Shouts out to Doc Scott for this awesome break. I know there may be better ones out there, but this was the closest I could find during the time I was making this video. So I took that break and just sliced up the kick and snares and had this pattern. And then layer this with the Soul Pride. All 
right. And then one of the most defining characteristics of Niteni Tiru is the use of taiko drums. So taiko drums are a form of Japanese traditional drums. It is usually very a uh, big and almost wooden sounding in nature. And so I downloaded a bunch of taiko drums from Splice and I have this library here. So as you can see, there's an assortment of lower sounds that sound, kind of sound like tom drums. And then you have higher wooden sounds like this. Right. So these sounds play the role of a snare, whereas the other sounds play the role of either a kick or a tom. And the idea here is to use these drums to kind of create a sentence because the drums sound almost melodic. So you kind of create a melody with the drums. So I'm going to do a pattern influenced by the Fotec track. So I'm going to take one of these low toms and go write a pattern, something like this. Okay, so we have the bass pattern of this rhythm. Now let's add some more toms to create and develop the sentence. So these ones play higher, so we can kind of create an ascending melody. So maybe something like this. Okay, so now the rhythm is starting to develop. Let's use this one as kind of an accent or a counter rhythm. So this kind of rolls into the other hits. So what I mean by this is you place it right before another hit. So it rolls into the following hit. So like here, and then maybe one here. So this rolls into the first hit here. Okay, so now let's add one of these higher clap sounds to kind of create yet again another counter rhythm, kind of call and response. So we can add one of these here. Another position for this guy is we could extend this into two bars and maybe put this one here. All right, and let's hear all with the drums. Now you may want to use the velocity to change the volume of some of these hits. For example, this one is coming up in a bit loud here, so we might want to bring it down a bit. This one here as well. All right, so we're getting that Fotech vibe. Big up Fotech. If you want to support, we got a new preset pack out with some big bass sounds. It's called Wubs and Wobbles. And you can check it out in the link below. And while you're at it, you can check out my other products as well. But if you're not ready to buy yet, remember you can download these products for free. Also down in the link below. All right, so I brought the track into the arrangement view and just for some additional faux techiness for lack of better terms, I found a sample which is actually the source of these kind of wind instrument sounding effects in Nitenichiru. And I was actually blown away when I found a sample years ago. I think I found it on Dogs on Acid. So shout out to whoever posted the sample up there. Right, that one's iconic. Right, so we can slice up some of these samples and place it across the track. And not to mention one of the other sounds used in Niteni Tiru is the sword sounds. After all, the title is named after a sword fighting technique or philosophy in ancient Japanese culture. So it only makes sense to use some sword samples.
right? So we have those sounds. And also I added an 808 sub right underneath because the Taiko drums are good, but it doesn't have enough sub bass. Uh, however, the true Nitenichiryu uh, track, I believe does not have an actual sub bass either. It is dependent on the Taiko drums for that heavy bottom end. But for my take, I decided to layer an 808 underneath the track. Right. So now that we have all the parts together, let's hear the sequence in full. By the way, if you're interested in grabbing this Ableton project, I'll leave a free link down in the description below. So notice how all the sounds play off each other, especially the drums. Notice how the taiko drums play off like call and response, like a counter rhythm or like a polyrhythm on top of our break beats. And then I've layered all the sounds so that they play off each other. They're never playing at the same time when we look at the photox samples and the sword sounds. So that's one key is you have to place your samples correctly and intelligently so that they, they kind of create a rhythm and they play off each other. So this is a cool vibe using those taiko drums and breakbeats layered together. And while I was playing this, I thought about wouldn't it be cool if we update this and use some modern drums and bass. So I found this break in the Proxima sample pack. Or is it Proxima? You guys let me know. So let's resequence this to match the pattern. So we have a delayed snare like this. Okay, and then let's duplicate this, then bring the snare back here. And then we're gonna bring this kick here. Okay, and then duplicate it one more time. And the last bar, we're gonna bring this back and then just take this section, duplicate it. All right, and then we have some new school bass lines here. Here's a fog horny whoop sound. Fog horny, that sounds kind of funny. And this is a uh, preset by Onray on our Wubs and Wobbles pack. If you're interested, check the link below for more information about it. Awesome Wub and Wobble sounds from this pack. And uh, you can use these macros to make them nastier. So that sounds pretty nasty. And then we have this detuned sub bass here using two sine waves. So we have this pattern here. Okay, so some pretty nasty business. And yeah, so then I'm gonna mute the older drums that we had and we'll play it with the newer drums and the newer bass and we'll check out what we got. Now actually we can layer that soul pride on top. So let's hear the track in full. All right, we're getting some full tech griminess here. So comment down below, let me know which one you guys like better, the old school version of the full tech sound or the new school sound with some new breaks and fog horn and subs. All right, so this is how I would use Fotex style to create a track today. Comment down below and let me know how did I do. Remember, the key here is the use of poly and counter rhythms and cleverly placing your drums so that they play off each other to create new interesting patterns. So go on and try experimenting using ethnic percussion to create cool rhythms and layer break beats on top. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. All this helps my channel grow. Anyways, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. 
keep practicing, and I'll see you at the next video.